If your afternoon commute takes you north of Nashville, you know what it's like. Especially those who take the long commute to or from Clarksville. But could some new ideas bring a fresh look to that long drive? News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger tells us whether by bus or by train, a solution could be coming. RTA is close to finishing a study of what's called the Northwest Corridor. That's mass transit between Nashville and Clarksville. There are five options, but a couple of them have already been dropped. Check out this map. There are five routes. Two of them involve railroads and three are highways. RTA has already dropped the top line on the map. It's a railroad route through Springfield. A good chunk of that alignment um, is going to be used in CSX line, which is going to present some challenges because of the, uh, all the, the rail freight, freight rail that they currently operate on that line. So it's going to be more challenging trying to share the line. The only rail line left, the green line, is the route that runs through Ashland City. Right now, it's in use between Nashville and Ashland City, but the tracks are abandoned between Ashland City and Clarksville. That rail line is operated by the Nashville and Western Railroad. They are a smaller operator. They move less amount of, of, of uh, freight traffic, and uh, there are some other poss possibilities, and they're willing to, to work if we had to use that line for passengers. So the other options are buses along I-24 and a couple of other smaller highways. RTA expects preliminary findings from the consultant in December. Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5. Light rail and streetcars have been ruled out as modes of transportation in the Northwest Corridor. The mode of transportation and route that is chosen will also depend on cost that will also be part of the study.